Companies worldwide need a guide against greenwashing. Greenwashing is a form of misleading marketing where uh, a product, service or company is presented as better in respect to climate change, the environment or human rights issues without proper documentation to back this claim. Simply put, greenwashers talk loudly about the importance of sustainability without making an actual effort. Whereas responsible companies work hard to create shared values for both themselves and society as a whole. And this seems kind of straightforward, but in a lot of cases, it's not. A lot of companies end up greenwashing without intending it. They just want to talk about a product they believe to be a part of the climate solution without having the knowledge to fully assess the impacts of this product. And while this might sound kind of harmless, it can actually be quite devastating to our common cause of averting the climate crisis. By creating apathy and distrust among the individuals that we need to fight for a better future. So, what can be done about greenwashing? Shift business climate leaders got challenged by activists here in Norway to create a guide uh, for businesses to help them avoid this kind of marketing. The result is 10 principles that over 200 Norwegian businesses have signed so far, claiming that they will do their utmost to uphold them. Now we want to take the guide against greenwashing to the global stage. So let's get going. I'm just going to walk you through the guides. Number one, be honest and accountable. Avoid using words like green or eco and fair without both explaining and documenting what your company have done or will do to make sure that the statement can be verified. Also, you should be very careful with using results from reports out of context to better suit your own marketing needs. Number two, make sure that your company's sustainability efforts are not limited to your communication and marketing departments. Companies who continue with business as usual, but apply a marketing strategy focusing on sustainability will end up greenwashing in almost every case. Number three, you should avoid talking about the importance of sustainability or ethical trade if your company themselves have not made serious efforts on these issues. Of course, it's nice to raise the pride flag, mark the International Women's Day, or share hashtag Black Lives Matter. But if this is the full extent of your company's commitment to change, then it will appear as quite hollow. Number four, do not under-communicate your company's own emission and negative impacts. It's better to be honest about being a part of the problem and focusing on how your company can get better. Most people cheer for those who do their best. Number five, be careful using a big amount of your marketing budget on relatively small measures that does not affect your company's footprints significantly. If your marketing is focused on the 5% of your product line, which is labeled as sustainable, whereas the remaining 95% causes harm to the climate or the environment or the people producing the goods, you should have quite concrete plans of how to change that ratio drastically. Number six, avoid buying a clean conscience through climate quotas. Companies who take sustainability seriously start by working on their own footprints. Number seven, use established labeling or work towards the establishment of good labeling mechanisms within your industry if it is lacking today. Established labeling helps both consumers and companies to make informed choices. Labeling that might wrongly give the impression of a third party certification is of course not advised. Number eight, be careful using terms such as better for the environment. 
almost all products and services that are provided in today's economy have some sort of negative impact on our biosphere. Number nine, cherry picking from the UN Sustainable Development Goals can lead you astray. The goals that are most important to your company are the goals that have the closest link to your company's core activities. If your production line emits massive amounts of CO2 or cause human rights violations in another country, you should avoid marketing your efforts for equality in your home country. Number 10, donations and sponsorships are great, but they're not a proof that your company is working on sustainability issues. If listing donations to a respected organization on your webpage is your company's way of trying to tell the world that you are working on sustainability issues, it's not going to cut it. It's your company, your product, and your services that have to change. So we hope that this guide can be a tool for businesses to responsibly market our goods and services while we all work our way towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals. A truly sustainable economy is going to be a massive undertaking that will require an immense amount of effort from all of us. But a better future and a sustainable society for the generations to come has potential endless value. So we have to do business with this in mind and stop greenwashing.